Hey everybody, welcome back to One Room Over Gaming. Uh, today I'm going to be continuing my Let's Play of West of Loathing. And uh, last time I was playing, I managed to find myself my way into the Daveyard. And it promises to be full of skeleton battles. So let's keep going here. I'm going to check my inventory because it says I got something new. I have no idea. I didn't realize I'd never read this book last time. I played so after you're done reading it you'll donate it to a local orphanage so those orphans will be able to make their escape go orphans go yeah man okay and then I realized also I could equip certain um certain items I, I hadn't been wearing but I don't think I can I don't think I can equip a gold tooth as a lapel nope you sure can't so I'm missing a lapel and boots, but I've got everything else. I guess I don't need a shirt, though. I might unequip this broken board. And let's see here. I think I'm going to... Where's that? Uh, I'm going to equip the cavalry saber as my weapon. Yes. What is the cow? What if I unequip the cow? No offhand? What's offhand? Uh, let's just see. What if I... Where's the tooth? What if I put that in my hand? Can I do that? I don't think I can. Okay, well, we're just going to put the porcelain cow back. Alright, now we're ready to go. I think, I think. When did I get putrid cow bile? Vial of rancid cow bile you kept for some reason. My moxie by 11 and my maximum AP by 1 for the rest of the day. I will hang on to that for now. What can I do with my leather? It's just got to sell value. Okay, here we go. I got Doc Alice with me back there. She's still got her whiskey. These remains look pretty restless. Not for long, they don't. Let's put them down. Alright. Gonna saber them up. Attack. That's a pretty strong little saber. What does this do? Oh, Why would I heal the target ever? That would be a bad idea. Oh, he's gonna shoot at me. Action deploy snake. Oh, okay. Never even tried that. Oh, I'm gonna do the dynamite one day when I really need it. Like, if I find a big target to use it on, that'll be fun. Made the remains... The restless remains more restful. And I got another gold tooth. I'll just sell that, I think. What's this say? Here lies Dave B. Died with his boots on, but not his pants. I got his boots! I was just saying I needed boots. Lucky for me. Dig up the grave, check the veracity of the epitaph. epitaph. Sure enough, boots but no pants. I got brown boots. I wonder what those do for me. Dave C. D was this Dave B? Yeah, Dave B. Dave C. Are we going to go through the alphabet? Dave C. Went down in a theater. Okay. That's a shame. Dave J. Raup pow. Alright, let's go put you down, dude. I'm going to try my deploy snake. Oh, I have two action points? I don't want to... I don't want to do that. I don't want to lose my AP points. I might really need them. You know? Me and Doc Alice will just take out the world here. Oh, he's got a stick. He's got a plank of wood and he thinks he's going to hit me with it? Well, guess what, buddy? Here you go. Or not. That's a tough old skeleton. But not that tough. I keep getting these gold tooths out of these deadheads. There's... Okay, more Dave J. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing here in the Dave Yard. Dave L. These are all Daves. Oh, I get... That's why it's called the Dave Yard. They just put all the dead Daves in here. But where do they put all the rest of the bodies? All the Sallies and Jonathans and junk. Died of a heart attack. See you in 36 years? Okay. That's cool. Dave G. He was looking up to the sky to save him, but even the sky can't save a feller from, like, 40 angry bears. No, I wouldn't imagine. Where the hell do you find 40 angry bears? A, a big old bear's nest. The gravedigger left his lunchbox here. Free lunch! Vienna blood sausages and thermos of spiked coffee. And they said there was no such thing. I don't know why they said that. We're gonna beat up some more bones. Is this guy a chef? He was a chef at one point? Why am I here? I think... 
I don't know what I need from the Dave Yard. I know I need Saltpeter, but I don't know. If... Whoa! That was cool. He spooked me! Yeah, but I beat him up. Handful of loose teeth and skeleton bone. Notices the scene and some notes down in her little notebook. Yeah, that's why I brought the nurse with me, is because I like that she's got to figure out what's going on here. Dave D. The truth was out there, it killed him. Murdered by a different feller named Dave G. Another Dave G. That's funny. Alright, that's. Can I, can I take these bones apart? I'll dig through it. Boring, broken bones, but you do find a skull with a weird tag on it. You got an item skull with an odd tag on it. Okay, what's in here? Yeah, I need saltpeter, but. Uh, I don't exactly remember. I need that, like, a smithing place or something. I don't remember. And I'm. What's that? You're madder in a hornet. If your anger level gets higher than one, you'll pass out from rage. Oh! Well, good thing I didn't reinsult myself. What about over here? This is one of those things they have in mausoleums. You know, one of those big marble things with drawers full of skeletons? Open one. Open a whole bunch. I'm opening a whole bunch of them. Okay, so he's got a weapon. He's got... This is... I've got quite a fight on my hands. Um, we're gonna go in with the... The saber for now. And yeah, just sh just shoot. Oh, I'm probably definitely gonna need to heal up through this. Won't end your turn. I will heal, and I will attack you first. Because I don't like your weapon. Can I just... I want you to shoot just him. Not all of them. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Maybe all of them at one time was not a good idea. Oh. I was already angry. You get so angry about losing that fight that you pass out. Son of a... Oh, I wake up in my bed. Carried me back after I got knocked out. A little sore. Why didn't they take... I'm pretty hungry and sober. Was I not sober already? Well, that'll teach me to be all fancy and stuff. That would have been the fight that I should have used. I'm going to probably sell those gold teeth. Or not. I might hang on to them. Uh, where's the boots? Where's my new boots? Boots, boots, boots. Oh, I'm already wearing them. Okay. Oh, they said they lift up my AP. Smart. All right, let's go back. I should have just woke them all up one at a time, but I mean, I like I like to I like a challenge every now and again. Where's my map? We're going back to the Dave Yard. Hopefully, I don't have to fight all them other Daves. Ghostly translucent bandit on a ghostly translucent horse rides up and points all of its ghostly translucent rifle at you, demanding your ghostly translucent valuables. I mean, it doesn't actually specify that your valuables should be ghostly and translucent, but it doesn't seem like he'd have any use for regular ones. Oh, I got a ghost cowboy. Boy, I hope the sword hurts him. Well, it does, but not well. Jeez, he's a tough customer. Alright, I'm gonna snake whip him. Boom. Jeez, that barely hurt him too. Ghosts are tough to fight. Ghosts and dead people. That's okay. Quit hitting me with your spooky. I'm not in love with it. There you go. Why don't you screw off? I got a bit of ectoplasm. Picks up a bone, examines it carefully. Okay, going to the Dave Yard. All the other Daves are gone. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fight all those guys one at a time. I'm not that. I'm not that tough, sadly. I wouldn't have minded a bigger fight. I just. I just can't do it. That snake whip didn't do a whole lot to him. But at least one at a time I can take him on. Oh, he's immune to poison. I wonder if I get anything cool off him. 7 to 8, 6 to 7. We're gonna go with this. Yeah, there you go. Hopefully this will take him down. 
just this at least three damage. Yes. More loose teeth. She's had an epiphany of some sort. Alice has become stronger. Way to go. Yes, I need that. Do I ha I hopefully can just fight these guys on my own terms. Why is my attacks getting weaker? I don't like that. I don't like that. I want to get stronger, not weaker. I want to win these fights, damn it. Alright, well, we're just gonna have to do it. Do it the slow way. We'll take him. I'm gonna shoot him to finish him off. Pew! Yeah. Skull chips, skeleton bone. Surveys the scene, draws some notes in her notebook. I hope as she gets stronger, her fight becomes better. How many of these can I fight? I'm not going to surrender. Oh, I'm actually going to do it. I want to just deploy the snake. Okay, not a lot of damage, but I'll take it. Because I think I get to keep him through the whole fight. I think I get to keep him out on the whole fight, and that would be great. So there's my attack. Then goes my snake. Yeah, I got a little snake buddy, a little snake ally. Everything on my side, I need. These these spooky these spooky guys, the ones with the magic, they are a little tougher for me to deal with. Oh, my snake took you out. Screw you, buddy. Another skeleton bone. Do I? How many of these can I fight? Can I just fight these till the end of time? I think I can. But what if there's? What if there's something cool, you know? What if there's something I can gain from these fights? I don't just want to- I don't want to do the thing that I did last time where I missed the soap, and now I regret it. Five damage. Yeah, you get a good shot, but you're not good enough. Maybe if I was on my own, but I'm not. Studies the remains of your undead foes. Alright, I'll try fighting one more. This might just be a big waste of time. But I'm doing it. I'm wasting time. If anything, I can at least level up off of these. Dave Canton. Oh, they all have different names. I didn't notice that earlier. I didn't see that. Each Dave has his own name. Alright. And then after this fight, we'll, uh, we'll go explore the rest of this mausoleum. Yeah, at least I, yeah, I'm getting XP from all this. So that's good news. Oh, what is this? What's going on in here? It's big stone sarcophagus. Okay. Some kind of ritual circle drawn on the ground of red chalk. I hope it's chalk. Pile of mostly burned up rags that maybe used to be a person? Let's investigate. The rags and find a few things that look like they're worth keeping. Gore splattered scroll, human ashes, Oh, there's some kind of receipt here. You got an item. Robe receipt. Well, what am I gonna do with that? Okay. Can I look at my receipt? This is a receipt for the delivery of 150 black silk robes. Sounds pretty ominous. It's time you started gathering clues about the whole perambulatin dead situation that's going around on these parts. Grab a notebook and paperclip the receipt to the first page. You got an item. Necromancer journal. I should check that out. This is a collection of the clues you've acquired in your search for the Necromancer's home base. Open your Necromancer journal and examine the information you've collected so far. Found a receipt for delivery of robes. Looking at it closely, you see that there's a surcharge for delivery delivery past Boulder Pass. That means the Necromancer's lair is definitely west of the mountains. Good to know. Progress! Looks like that's everything I know so far. Alright, I'll take it. Yeah, progress kind of comes slow for me, so... I will take it where I can get it. Alright, nothing. Hold on. N nothing. This plant isn't anything. Nope, that just takes me back in the room. Okay. Alright. Alrighty. I think. I think I've done all the damage here I can do. So. I'm gonna go back to dirt water for a hot second. 
Ooh, I found a person. Howdy there, I'm wandering Sally. Howdy, Sally, I'm Yancey. What's your line? Trading. I was wondering about these lands, just like this says on the label. And, uh, I buy a little here and sell a little there, make sure to make my way. Care to see the wares? Sure thing. Sorry, I forget my little accent sometimes. I found Wander and Sally's camp out. Well, this is good. I could, uh, sell some stuff here. Um, I'm gonna sell the board. How much do you have? White dusting of what looks like blue chalk. These boots are remarkably well preserved for spending time in the grave. No, that's mine. I will sell the... I don't know if I want to sell that leather. What if I need these things? What if I need gold teeth and loose teeth and stuff? This is why I collect stuff. I don't... Oh. No. Oh. I can't go back now. Oh, I finally have access to soap. And I... Oh. I'm really heartbroken about that. I really don't like missing anything. Oh, I'm buying it just in case I need soap for the future. Oh, I'm gonna keep those. Okay, no. Man, I'm really, I'm never gonna let this soap thing go. I won't do it. I just can't. Oh. Like, when I realized that I... I found another location. Let's go to the Stearns Ranch. No, I'm just... I just don't like missing stuff. Dig through the haystack. Dig through it. All the needles. Every haystack. A guaranteed needle. What is your problem, Doc Alice? What do you want? There's an old mission not far from here. They might like... They might let you check out their catacombs if you ask nice. Oh, and by the way, since she's my partner anymore, Doc Alice doesn't get an accent. All my people don't get accents. Oh, that sounds awesome. I suppose. Um. Okay, well. Am I forgetting about anything? Alice is just poking around dirt water and seeking if anyone needs any help. Okay, thank you for the reminder. Because I I know. I know that I, there's stuff I gotta do. So we're here on the Stearns Ranch. What's in here? Anything in here? Oh, that just takes me right in. Okay. Um, is it safe? Oh, the safe is scorched, but its contents are still safe. I need safe cracking. Pile of loose boards. What's this? There's still some food on the shelf. Grab it. Instant grips and clove drops. Clove is actually pretty tasty. Or maybe I'm the only one who feels that way. Weird cow-shaped stain on the wall. Okay. No books for me to read or anything like that. Where do I get the safe cracking skill? Anything else out here? What's this? A but button cactus. It requires foraging. Okay. Between the smoke and the noise, you're guessing the contents of this outhouse are more dangerous than the average outhouse contents. Don't care. Alright, let's do it. Boom! Why is my attack going down? I need to level up. Oh, he went after Doc Alice. Burnt her up. That's okay. This is the last of your day, cow. You flaming a pyro bow. That's his name. Outhouse is now as safe as houses. Outhouses. Aha. You gained 10 XP. By the soft light of the fading embers, you see a glint of light from below. You hold your nose with one hand as you fish out your prize with the other. Toilet pistol! Man, my I, my character will just stick his hand in anything. Mary Stearns, February 18th, 1894. Gwendolyn Stearns, devoted mother, 1895. This flower is smoking. I got the smoking chrysanthemum. Don't know what I can do with it. Uh, looks like Jethro's bones were dug up by a varmint of some sort or another. Got a charred locket. Jethro Stearns, devoted father. Aw. Alright. Um, so, there's... I need uh, harvesting and safe cracking. If I want to get anything else. From the Stearns. 
I would, wouldn't, no, I didn't mean to do that. Wouldn't mind a button cactus. This might be, might have some value to him. Alright. What's the toilet pistol? Deal stench damage instead of physical. Apply five poison to enemy. So you get the three to four damage plus the five poison to enemy? That's awesome. Kind of gross. But I'm going to equip it. And I might just sell my deputy pistol. Let's see. Uh, do I have anything? Do I have anything? That I want... What's the instant grits do? Melee damage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat these. You suck on the clove balls for a while, which is terrible. When you think you can't stand it anymore, you chomp on them, which is even worse. You gain an effect, clove rage. Blech. I'll take it. What's human ashes for? It's a human in this final stage of that whole ashes to ashes thing. Well, part one at least. A human gets harder to keep track of once in powder form. Well, I want to examine them. It's the cremated rem earthly remains of a person. Sometimes they'll refer to these as cremains. But you will not approve. Oh, um, I'm gonna leave them alone for now. Where did I get those? I should scatter them, but someplace nice. I don't feel like this is quite the place to be scattering human ashes, but you never know. At the side of the trail, you see a small hell cow, a hell calf, really. It snorts past a brush, lighting on fire, then starts grazing. Fight it! I am not gonna cower. All right, toilet pistol. That did nothing. Okay, there it is. Yeah. And now I'll just use my cavalry saber since I already did the stench, stench damage that I wanted to do. This cow, this hell calf stands no chance against me and Doc Alice. Tainted milk, 37 meat. Skin the cow with your rusty knife. Got leather. And make it back to dirt water. Yeah, walking around out here is a lot less safe than than it was uh, when I was back in Boring Springs, I think. Alright. Uh, what's your problem? Looks like the guy is on a lot of pain. Check on him. You okay, buddy? Pretty sure my leg is broken, so no. What happened? Traffic accident? No, I just sort of broke all of a sudden. I, I guess I don't get enough vitamins or whatever. Good nutrition can be difficult in this day and age. I'm, I'm gonna need some medicine for this. Can you help me? Sure! Thank you, there's a mission up north, the nuns there run a little hospital and sell medical supplies. Can you get me some broken leg pills? I sure can, buddy. Broken leg pills, is that a thing? Yeah, that's a thing. Don't have any with me, sorry. Huh. Okay, coming up. Well, now I'm going to the mission. Uh, where's the mission? Old mission. Yeah. I've always kind of liked old missions. You encounter an overturned wagon surrounded by ruined books and a broken pair of spectacles. Looks like a family, especially literate homesteaders, might uh, met an untimely end here. Tragic. Look through the wreckage. You pour over the detritus. Detritus? I don't know. That's a word I've never encountered before. I think it's detritus. And managed to find exactly one book that is both undestroyed and remotely interesting to me. Modern Snake Oiler, issue 199. Oh, and when I get there, you better believe I'm going to read that book. I might actually have to sell some stuff. Use this to learn a new snake oiling skill. There's a letter to the editor from a woman in Wyoming, where I used to live, who had an amazing idea. What if you shot somebody three times instead of just once? Gives Fan Hammer a combat skill that lets you quickly do three ranged attacks. There's a recipe for a new kind of snake oil concoction that looks like it might come in handy in a fight. Gives Good Medicine a skill that lets you recover HP in combat. There's an article with a list of tips and tricks for moving really quickly. Quick draw, a skill that increases your speed. So I have to pick one of these things to learn. Um, I'm not. I'm gonna give fan hammer because I'm not really worried about speed or medicine. I'm already a snake oiler. I make my own medicine from snakes I carry in a briefcase. What more could I possibly need? You unload round after round into nearby cactus just to see how it feels. It feels pretty good. Unfortunately, a stray spark from one of your shots sets the magazine on fire, and you're unable to prevent it from being destroyed. Well, that's lame. Alright, what else we got around here? Try not to walk through a billion cactuses. Alright, well, we're going in the mission. That's all there is here. I gotta talk to some nuns. 
Gotta see. Let me go check out the cross. You're not a priest, so you shouldn't mess with any of this stuff. Okay. Well, I'm clicking on candles. Alright. Hello, Miss Nun. Hello, sister. Relic case with a spot for a finger bone. Spot for a pelvis. Spot for a skull. I have a skull! Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Skull with an odd tag on it. This skull has a little paper tag tied to it, which has inter-cemetery loan on one side. Some notes on the other. Examine it. Serial number. It says it borrowed from the Submission Catacombs on February 19th, 1886. Jeez, this is really late. Uh, okay, can I put... I want to put... I want to put the skull. I want to put the skull. Maybe I have to talk to the nun. Excuse me. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What's wrong, sister? They came back. They just came back and took them. I couldn't stop them. Whoa, slow down. Okay, what happened? Our holy relics. The saints just stormed up out of the catacombs and took them back. Wow. I didn't know what to do. I thought maybe they'd fire me if I tried to stop them. The cardinal will be here any minute. What am I going to do? Okay, to start with, take a deep breath and try and call down, okay? What's your name? Ah, oh, Sister Mary. Name's Yancey. Now, what's this about saints? Our mission's er mission is to protect these sacred relics. Three sacred relics. I'm the relic keeper. It's my specific job to look after them. Wait, do they call you Memento Mary? She shows you the roller. She keeps tucked in her sleeve. No, dude, they do not. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. No sense of humor there. Okay, so what happened? The saints. Oh, it's too horrible. They just came to life and somehow... They came up out of the catacombs, all skeletal and ghostly looking. I mean, probably blasphemy me to say that, but I nearly fainted. And they took back their relics? Yes, and if they ain't recovered before the Cardinal gets here, I'm, I'll be in so much trouble. Uh-oh. How much time is there? Well, actually, he's months overdue, so it's all probably not all that urgent, but still. All right, I'll get him back for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, wait a second. Are you going to have to fight them to get the relics back? Because that's probably blasphemous, too. Uh, I mean, probably, but if black magic brought them back to life, that's like super blasphemous, right? So it evens out. Oh dear, the Cardinal is going to want to have a very long talk about this, but go ahead and do what you must, I suppose. I tried to give her a nice, woe is me, airy kind of, uh, feminine accent. Thank you for trying to recover our relics. Please be careful. I'll have them all back before you know. Okay, so I gotta go get them all. Um... Before I... Bleh. Where... Where... I found one. I got the skull. But I have to... I have to get them all back before I can give them back. I was gonna give her back the skull real quick. But, um... Okay. So, I'm, that's all the time I have for now. So I'm gonna stop here. But I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this up again. Like, immediately after this. So that I can keep playing. Because I think this game is amazing. I love how random it is. It's cute. It's funny. It's... I don't know, there's always something to do, something something to see. Like, you want to keep playing it. You want to discover everything. You want to find all the little secrets. And I'm sure I've missed about a million of them so far, but I, I'm trying my best to find all the little cool little details around here. So, uh, thank you guys so much for coming back to One Room Over Gaming. And until next time, you guys know where you can find me. I'll just be One Room Over. So, thank you very much. Uh, happy gaming to everyone. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Okay, take care.